Hello everybody and welcome to the September edition of Ask the AD with Weber State Athletic Director Jerry Bovey. I'm Paul Guru for WeberStateSports.com. Jerry, the fall season is underway. We've had a couple of football games, the volleyball, soccer, cross country all underway. This is one of the busiest times of the year, but also a very exciting time of year. Yeah, for those of us that work here in the in the office, uh, this has been a long time coming. In fact, we had a staff meeting today and talked about basketball. So we're always we tend to be ahead of, of the game a little bit, but we're here. We're into play two games in football, uh, soccer. We've had games under the lights. We've got another game this week under the lights. Uh, volleyball's underway, and we'll come home this week. So a lot of a lot of great things happen. Definitely, a lot, of, a lot of exciting things. Be sure to, to visit WeberStateSports.com for the schedule and more information. We want to talk a little bit about the uh, the football games. Uh, we'll start with last week's game as we record this, the game at Cal. What an exciting game that was. The Wildcats ended up falling 33-20. Led, though, entering the fourth quarter. Pretty exciting game. Yeah, it was it was a fun atmosphere. Uh, there were some nerve, nerves uh, on the other sideline and some fans that were a little bit nervous. Uh, I think all in all, I talked to a few administrators uh, throughout the day, and they were very impressed with what we put together. Our coaching staff and our fans. We had, you know, we had a good showing there. We had 300, 300 fans, uh, 300 tickets total that were uh, went to Wildcat fans. So a good showing. Uh, um, nine of our student athletes are from the Bay Area, so it was nice for those families to be able to come and watch their son play. And we were competitive, and, and all of the things. You know, you don't get a, a real good read from week one necessarily uh, here at home, so that gives us a better indication of where we're at. Yeah, it definitely does, and you get uh, you know, a lot of good things coming from a game like that. Didn't have any serious injuries, and you play a Pac-12 team, get get of course the money that you need there, but showed showed very well on a national stage against a, a Pac-12 opponent. Yeah, these games are important for us as as we look and forecast into the future on, on what kind of opponent we want to play. These are games that are important for our for our team. Uh, the players want to play in these games, so we try to find an opponent that matches with our our style a little bit. Uh, there's no question that the guarantee money helps provide resources, needed resources for our football team. I mean, I I was asked about that. I think a, an eighth of our total football budget you you generate in one day, or a little more than an eighth. So. Uh, that's good, um, but you always worry about our, you know what kind of opponent. The the environment was great. Uh, we had a little uh, alumni function before the game that was well attended, and I think everyone went away, you know, feeling good about who we are and where, where we're going. Obviously, our coaches and our team uh, not happy. That, that's a game that that we had an opportunity to win, so we'll learn from that and get ready for this week yeah. in Sacramento State. And Kelly Chill said, "No such thing as a moral victory, of course." Uh, the season moves on, Sacramento State on the road this week at the final non-conference game, and then the Big Sky season begins on September 23rd at home, a uh, homecoming game, September 23rd against UC Davis, that's a 5 o'clock start. Uh, let's look back to the first week, the, uh, the win over Montana Western, 76-0, a school record uh, win in that game. From a fan perspective though, and from a fan standpoint, we want to talk about a few things associated with that game. Uh, concessions was a, a new look to Weber State this year. Yeah, we have a new concession partner, and, and so that was game one. We've had a few uh, practice runs with the alumni game and basketball, but for the most part, there was a lot that went well. <clears throat> There's a lot of work to be done. We'll be meeting this week uh, to talk about how we get better as we come back home in two weeks. I, I think it, uh, the patience of our fans, and one thing I would say is I did get some feedback e either through emails or even on Twitter. Uh, some folks just sent notes saying, hey, this is not good. Uh, we've got to get better at queuing lines. They moved everything to the north end as we continue to add new vendors. Uh, we've got Brixton's and uh, one other, Paula. Maria's. Maria's uh, yeah. restaurant there. So th that was nice to have some different food choices. Prices, I heard some good response on the prices, lowered prices. So all in all, there's some good things going on there and we've got a ways to go on on queuing better. I think generally about that game, I get a lot of people will say, you know, I know you'd rather play an FCS opponent. We worked to get that done. Couldn't couldn't pull it off. And and we talk a lot about it, it doesn't really help us. It's not necessarily true that it doesn't help us. In, in a tie break situation or if all things are equal, it doesn't hurt you. The fact that we went in and did what we were supposed to do and scored some points and, and really dominated the game, it could help us, but it, it, it won't count as a win toward a, that mythical threshold right. of seven. Uh, you'll remember a couple years ago, Idaho State had two of them. One got to eight games and didn't get in the playoffs. So 
you know, we want to play FCS opponents. But overall, it was it was a good first outing for us. We played well. Uh, other than a few little bugs, we, we went HD this year. You've been involved in that project uh, to wire the stadium for HD broadcast with Pluto. A few little bugs there that we know about, but I don't think the average fan would have noticed that much. Yeah. So we're going to continue to get better there. Definitely working on some other TV games. The next game will be on, on KJS TV. Uh, other games on 11 Sports, the new Big Sky Network coming up this year as well. Uh, Pluto TV is, uh, if, you haven't, if you're not aware of that, it's the new service through the Big Sky to stream games through your smart TV, through Roku, through Apple TV, through Google Chromecast. You can watch the game on your TV and on your devices. Very simple on Pluto TV. We were State's channel is 235 for the home games. All Big Sky road games also will be televised except for the National League uh, TV games. All through Pluto TV. Uh, it's a pretty neat service. It really is very simple to use. Uh, you just go on, to, you download the app, and in a couple of clicks, and you're right there. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good about that. Uh, again, we were working through some sound issues on our first broadcast, so we'll continue to improve that. But I, I will say, you know, um, it's a new platform for us. It's over the top, so it's free. Um, more access, I think, uh, throughout the world. Um, our, our parents of our players are raving about it. But like anything else, um, you, you know, parents need to look at it, see what the program, this is all over the top programming, so Pluto's looking for anything that they can put on there. It's kind of a potpourri of, of offerings. And so you're gonna wanna look at it as, as a parent. To, there, there are ways to do parental controls. There might be some things on there just like you have on network television now uh, that you won't want your kids watching. Um, so I would suggest everyone take a look at that, make sure you understand what, we're promoting our channel, uh, but we're excited about the opportunity that it'll bring for access to the Big Sky. A little bit better look and the branding of it is really going to be good for us. Yeah, so it's free TV and there's over six million users that use Pluto uh, every year or every, you know, uh, across the country. So uh, you can go on there and edit, add an edit the channels that you want and show which ones show up. Again, the Big Sky section is about 2.30 to 2.40, somewhere in there for, for different teams. So Yeah, you, just like any other platform, mm -hmm. if you've got Comcast or you have DirecTV, you, you, know, you want to go in and make sure you're monitoring what your kids are watching. I would do the same with this platform. But the upside for us, and access to more eyeballs to promote Big Sky football and basketball and all the other things that we'll be putting on there. I mean, in the future, we're going to be talking about coaches' shows right. and utilizing um, that platform to be able to do a coaches show every week and, and kind of own our own content. Those kinds of things and that platform it provides for us are going to be really important for us moving forward. Uh, again, so Pluto TV, download the app and uh, you can watch games on your smart TV uh, during the season. Also, uh, a, a football note along the, the construction, something that's been noted about this, is the north end zone, uh, the, the work on that that's hopefully ready here in about two years. Can you give us an update on that? Yeah, the fundraising continues. We've We've secured about six and a half million dollars toward this project. It was originally a project that we we were hoping um, to, to be at about an eight million dollar project. There will be some gift in kind and some partnerships that come in with uh, on the construction side once we get going there. But uh, we have secured an architect. <clears throat> we have a design. We had a meeting last week to look at design. And obviously, when you when you put a group of people in the room and they have their wish list of everything they want. Uh, it becomes a bigger building than, than what you planned on. So we're going to continue to work to raise money to get the most out of this project that we can. You only get a chance to do it once. Um, at the very least, we can squeeze a few areas and a little bit of the square footage in there if we need to. But the first look at the, at the way this will look on the north end is really going to be appealing to our fans. Um, just just the, the way that it will present itself, the way that it will capstone the stadium on the north end, we have plans for uh, added restrooms for the fans, uh, fan experience, concession stands. You know, initially we're talking about upwards of 600 square feet of just concession space uh, to go along with the vendor space that we'll have in other areas. So uh, locker room, team meeting rooms, offices. It's really a, a complex that's going to help football get a lot better. It includes uh, uh, expansion of the weight room, uh, about 5,000 square feet of new weight room space which is huge for us in getting stronger and in our recruiting. So all in all, if all of this continues to come together, it's going to be uh, something I think all Wildcat fans and alumni are going to be really proud of. Uh, very exciting. Should be ready for the start of the 2019 season here at Stewart Stadium. Before we wrap it up, a couple quick things. 
uh, basketball held, hosted the alumni uh, event here at the uh, end of August, the Men's Basketball Alumni Classic. A lot of great players coming back, a lot of fun to see them. And of course, Damian Lillard's jersey retired. What a great night it was. It really was. It was. It's one of those, those point in time moments where you can kind of reflect back on who we've been as a program. We, we talk about culture here a lot. I know that some people think, here we go again. But, but you're really only as strong as, as those that have uh, come before you. And to be able to reach back into the past and bring our athletes back, give them a reason, uh, a call to action to come and be a part of it. Uh, former coaches um, that we were able to have back in the building that night. And I think just to celebrate uh, Weber State basketball over the years, we are thrilled about the things that are happening going into the future and the players that we have in our program and the games that we're going to be able to play. You know, we, we received a huge donation this year anonymously to assist basketball. I mean, a big seven-figure donation that, that, will, that will be um, designated to helping on the recruiting side and improve basketball. Our schedule's beginning to, to see the the fruits of that work. So a lot of good things to talk about with basketball, but a lot of work that we continue to have to, to do to make it better. And having that event um, really not only was we were able to, to bring people together and talk about Weaver State and kind of look back into the past, but ex expand and get ready for the future. Season ticket renewals have gone out. So we, we want to get people thinking. I know we're, we're two games into football and we're thinking football right now. And, and fall sports, but we need to be thinking about that preparation too. So we hope everyone will renew their season tickets, bring new people in. We, we'll have an exciting team this year. Well, again, the fall sports uh, in full gear right now. Soccer, volleyball, football, and cross country in full gear, and basketball is not far away. And we wanted to mention also, Jerry, uh, that the Ask the AD, which we'll do once a month, is sponsored now by Hertz Car Sales on Washington Boulevard. Really appreciate Hertz for their support we receive. We finally have a sponsorship partner for this great little program that you've put together and that, that we get to do every month. Uh, that's fun. Dave Champlin, our, our uh, sales and promotions uh, staff member, has done a great job with the rest of our staff. We'll, we'll hit an all-time high this year in our partnerships and the, and the revenues all go to help us get better in all of our sports. So I think we, we're, we're well over the, the million dollar mark in total sponsorship sales and, and to have a partner in Hertz uh, come to the party what can we say? That's right. We're logo now. <laughs> Thank you, Hertz Car Sales on Washington Boulevard for your sponsorship of Weber State Athletics. We appreciate you for joining us again for the Ask the AD for September. Make sure you come out and visit the Wildcats and, and show, show up at the games. Uh, we need your support. And visit WeberStateSports.com for all the information and schedules. Go Wildcats!